What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? How's it going? And in today's Division 2 video, I'm going to bring you your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, November 15th. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But like always, we start off in Washington, D.C. And we will end in New York City, starting off with the Base of Ops vendor. Here we go. Good to see you. Starting with the Mozambique Special. This is the named pistol with perfect bread basket. This week it comes with maxed out health damage. Now I'm going to pick this one up just because I can see that little uh, arrow tick under health damage that mine is not maxed out yet. So I'll pick that one up and donate it to the recalibration library. Next, we have a tactical aug with crit hit damage and reformation, followed by a honey badger with stability and on empty, and a X45 with crit chance and reformation. Looking at the gear items, we have a Petrov backpack with overclock, repair skills, and headshot damage. And then a Soklov concern. Hey! chest piece okay with crit chance and crit damage with spark as that talent though uh, however i would say pick this one up re-roll that spark for whatever talent you want and then just optimize these talents that is worth it trust me having a sokolov concerned chest piece with double crit and whatever talent you want is very valuable for whatever builds you want to try to put together in the future now looking at the mods, we have a headshot damage, 7.6, drone scan range, 7.9, turret duration, 5.9, and sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. Now must buys things to look at from the base of ops vendor, the Sokolov Concern chest piece with the double crits. All right, <clears throat> moving on. What we're gonna do is hit the countdown vendor and clan vendor here in Washington, D.C. But just a friendly reminder, you can go to both of these vendors in the Haven settlement in New York City as well. All right, starting off with the countdown vendor. Our three named items, the Quiet Roar. This is the named stoner with perfect overwhelm. This week it comes with accuracy, but it does have that maxed out damage targets at a cover. Then we have a Point Man. This is the named Heligar chess piece with Perfect Vanguard. Comes with Hazard Protection and Repair Skills. Interesting. And then Anarchist Cookbook, the named Golan Gear backpack with Perfectly Wicked, Max Crit Chance, and Health for those attributes. Um, let's see. From the good old Clan Vendor. Now, that Countdown Vendor, it was pretty underwhelming. Uh... I, I do kind of like the Vanguard, um, but those rolls were just no good. All right, Clan Vendor, here we go. Starting with the Ekums Longstick. This is the named Marksman Rifle with Perfect Ranger. Comes with magazine size. Um, that's a really good Marksman Rifle roll. So what I would do with this, if you want this, pick it up and re-roll that magazine size for either damage targets out of cover or armor damage. Then we have a Foundry Mask with Max Armor. Nice. Pick this one up. I'm going to pick one up. Um, this way you could reroll that skill damage for whatever attribute you want in the game. And it'll automatically be fully maxed out. So this is great for whatever kind of Foundry build that you want. Uh, next up we have a Ongoing Directive Backpack with Armor Regen. Followed by a Hardwired Chess Piece with Skill Damage. Looking at the high-end items, we have a Tommy Gun with Sledgehammer and Optimal Range, followed by a Tactical Super 90 with Maxed Out Swap Speed and Killer, a SR-1 with Reformation and Crit Chance, and then a Classic M60 with Steady Handed and Maxed Out Armor Damage. Nice. Looking at the gear items, we have Fenris Gloves with Skill Damage and Repair Skills. Alps Mask with Weapon Handling and Health, and then Fenris Chess Piece with Crit Chance, Explosive Resistance, and Mad Bomber. Looking at the mods, we have Repair Skills 16.6, Crit Damage 10.8, Sticky Bomb Blast Radius 5.2, and Hive Range of 4%. Must Buys things to look at from the Clan Vendor, Ekum's Longstick, 
the Foundry mask. Um, that's about it. All right. Now we are going to go west and then double back east. Our first stop is going to be the campus settlement. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right. Now the campus. This is where we go over here to the vendor that looks very similar to Cassie Mendoza, but a completely different voice. All right. Here we go. And the campus, starting with the new Reliable. This is the named RPK with Perfectly Optimized. Comes with Crit Chance. Then we have a Model 700 with Magazine Size and Close and Personal. Followed by an Infantry MG5 with Armor Damage and Eyeless. Gear items, we have a Heliguard Mask with Crit Hit Damage and Repair Skills. And then Badger Tough Holster with Maxed Out Headshot and Health. Looking at the mods... Repair skills, 16.4. Chem launcher skill haste, 6.1. Hive plus 4 repair charges. Pulse cone size, 6.3. And trap duration of 4.3. Now, must buys things to look at from the campus. Um, no, not really. All right. Now we're going to start our Dark Zone vendors. Starting with Dark Zone West. Ho oh, West! Now, remember these Dark Zone vendors, they require DZ resources to purchase them. The only way to get DZ resources is within the Dark Zone itself, so remember that. Um, just for example, you can go to your Resources tab, and just above the keys is your Dark Zone resources. They did up the cap to 999, so you can go and farm this all day and then just keep them until they sell something good. And that's what I would uh, recommend you do. That way, whenever you see something at these vendors, you have the resources to get them. All right, with that said and done, here we go, Dark Zone West. Starting with the backup boomstick, one of my favorite sidearms in the game. This is the double barrel sawed off with that 17% shotgun damage. Comes with eyeless and stability. Ugh. Then we have an ACS-12 with perpetuation and accuracy. And a 1886 with magazine size and steady handed. Looking at the gear items, we have Aces and Eights gloves with health, tip of the spear knee pads with weapon handling, Heligard gloves with armor region health, and then Richter Kaiser knee pads with repair skills and health. Looking at the mods, pulse resistance 8.4, <clears throat> Seeker Mind plus one clusters, shield. Damage bonus of 1%, Firefly Skill Haste 5.7, and Decoy Duration of 6.0. Must buys things to look at from DZ Hoist. Um, no. Now let's go down south. We got it, boys. We're going down south, the deep south. <clears throat> Come on, DZ South, let's go. There we go. And here we are, DZ South. Starting with the Manic. This is the named AK <clears throat> with perfect overflowing. Jesus. I gotta drink some water there. Jeez. It was such a good named weapon. It got me all choked up. <clears throat> Just kidding. All right, the Manic. Named AK, armor damage and perfect overwhelming. Really not my favorite named item. I was kidding. Tactical Aug with Armor Damage and Preservation. SOCOM Mark 16 with Close and Personal Reload Speed. Eesh. And then a PX4 with Crit Hit Damage and Strained. Looking at the gear items. Negotiator's Backpack with Crit Chance. Not a bad one. Hunter's Fury Chess Piece with Crit Chance. Uzina Backpack with Maxed Out Repair Skills, Skill Haste, and Opportunistic. And then Bellstone Armory Chess Piece with Skill Damage, Skill Haste, and Mad Bomber. I don't know about the Mad Bomber, but the double skill for Bellstone, that is very interesting. Looking at the mods, Crit Chance 4.5. Drone Damage Reduction 5.0. Turret plus one extra mortar. And Sticky Bomb Skill Haste of 4.2. Must buys things to look at from DZ South. Um, 
Hmm. Not really, to be honest. Um, maybe you could do like a healer. Uh, skill. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say no. All right, DZ East. Let's go. Now remember, go to the Alpha checkpoint and not the main entrance. That way, you don't have to run through the entire courtyard. All you have to do is exit the checkpoint. Access Just created. like so. All right, DZ East, here we go. Such a lovely, just such a lovely day. All right, DZ East. Wanna make a deal? Starting with the White Death, this is the named marksman rifle with that maxed out headshot. Comes with damage to targets out of cover. That's really low though, I don't know. I mean, you could reroll the first blood to whatever talent you want, keep the damage to targets out of cover and then just optimize it, in my opinion, of course. Then we have a surplus SVD with crit chance and fast hands uh, and a military L86 with crit chance and bread basket. Looking at the gear items, we have a rigor mask with crit damage, rigor holster with hazard, Richter and Kaiser mask with skill haste and health, and then Empress holster with skill damage, crit damage. Looking at the mods... Skill duration 8.2, chem launcher duration 4.1, hive damage 4.2, pulse health 15.1, and trap duration of 4.2. Uh, must buys from DZ East. I mean, not really unless you really want the white death. Pick it up, reroll that first blood, and then just optimize those attributes. You should be good to go. All right. And our last stop in Washington, D.C. is going to be the theater. The theater. We're going to the theater. The theater settlement. And here we go. Big money, big money. Yo, the weather outside is weather. Jeez. All right, here we go. Starting with the stage left with armor damage and perfect sledgehammer. Okay. Then we have a Spaz 12 with reload speed and pummel. And then a SIG 716 with strained and maxed out damage targets at cover. Looking at the gear items, we have Badger Gloves with hazard and skill damage. And then Richter and Kaiser knee pads with weapon handling and crit hit damage. Looking at the mods, we have Burn Resistance 8.5. Seeker Mine Healing 5.9. Shield Deflector Damage 4.3. Firefly Speed 8.1. And decoy health of 6%. Um, must buys. I mean, the stage left isn't bad. Uh, that's about it. All right. Now let's make our way to New York City. Uh, the vendors. I mean, there's been maybe two or three items that have been okay. But overall, I don't know if there's any like, you must stop what you're doing right now. And buy this. I, I don't know if there's anything like that right now. I don't know. Never say never. We have two more vendors. We have Marco right here at the top of the escalator and Roy Benitez just outside. Here we go. Marco, big money, big money, big money. Starting with the SIG 556. Damage targets out of cover and ignited. A classic M44 with mag size and lucky shot. KSG shotgun with damage targets out of cover and ignited again. And then a tactical M1911 with maxed out swap speed and optimist. Looking at the gear items, we have Alps backpack with repair skill, skill haste. Damn. And versatile. Okay. Huh. I mean, pick this one up right now. If you want this for a healer build, pick this one up. Reroll the versatile for safeguard or whatever talent you're wanting to run on your healer build, this is definitely a good one. Having that skill hasty and the repair skills, all you need is one piece of Alps for that repair skills. So you could definitely you you utilize this in like a high-end healer build, or you could even use this with fa uh, Future Initiative if you wanted to. But um, definitely take a look at this for your healer needs. Uh, healer Guard knee pads with hazard and crit damage. Not bad for like a tank sort of build with crit and hazard. 
And then Overlord Holster with skill damage and weapon handling. Looking at the mods, crit chance 4.6, crit chance 4.7. <laughs> oh my god, why do they do this? Why do they do this? Uh, for two credits, you could get 0.1% more. So then what's the, what's the point of the other one? Oh my gosh. Anyways, shield active regen 4.3. Hive range, 4%, and trap shock radius of 5.9. Must buy things to look at from Marco. Um, the Alps backpack for sure. For sure. If you're doing any sort of healer build, check this one out. Um, that's really about it. I mean, yeah, that's it. All right, and our last stop of the evening, Roy Bonitas. And then we are done with our weekly vendor reset. Here we go. And hold on, you got to pet the dog. What's up, buddy? I know I look different, dude, but today they just released this again, so I had to put it on, right? How do I look? Too scary? Eh, hope you're good, man. All right, let's go over to Roy Bonitas. See what he's uh, selling here we go. How can I help you the MP5 with magazine size and vindictive, followed by infantry MG5 with creative damage and breadbasket. M870 Express with damage targets at a cover and optimist. Okay, okay. Now remember with the whole shotgun thing, you can always keep a shotgun in your secondary and have it down to like one or two shots with Optimus. That way you just have it preloaded with all that extra weapon damage. And then whenever you get in a sticky situation, just whip out that shotgun and, you know, wow, you know what I mean? It's all about the spread. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, this one's not bad. It has armor damage and damage targets at a cover. I mean, this is it's pretty damn good. You can max out the shotgun damage and then just optimize the armor damage and damage targets at a cover later on. And then just utilize it now. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Then we have a custom PF45 with max pistol damage, magazine size, and optimist. And then for the gear items, we have a Sokolov a backpack. Nice. I'd pick this one up. With crit chance hazard and adrenaline rush. Nice. Now, what I would say is reroll that hazard off for crit damage. Have double crit. And then utilize that with the Adrenaline Rush. Or you could use this with, like, say, a hazard build. So, like, this with, I don't know, like, two-piece Seska and a Gaul. And then just spec into hazard. You should be good to go that way, too. That way you could reroll this core attribute to an armor. And then utilize that with the hazard and the Adrenaline Rush. That could be pretty damn good. Just saying. Just saying. I'm going to pick one up. How much you get the job done? <laughs> And then uh, Walker Gloves with Weapon Handling and Skill Haste. And then 511 Mask with Explosive Resistance and Armor Region. Now looking at the mods, we have Repair Skills 16.1. Skill Haste 9.9. .9, Shield Damage Bonus 1%. Firefly Speed 7.9. And Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now Must Buys Things to Look At from Roy Benitez. The Cyclov Concern Backpack is a must. Pick it up. All right, and that is it for your weekly vendor resets and must buys for today, November 15th. Now, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. I'll see you in the comments. And until next time, peace.